Hi everyone, happy Friday. <laughs> Boy, this week has been, been a week. Just like pretty much every week in my life lately. Um, I come to you with more new release books. <laughs> this is what happen, happens, guys. I get, I do so good with my budgets and, and restraining myself. And then I get stressed. And when I get stressed, um, shopping is, is my, my go-to. And so it hasn't helped. There's been a lot of good new releases lately, too. So um, I have yet more new releases to show you today. <laughs> I, figure, <laughs> I figure I might as well go enable everybody else since <laughs> I admittedly have a problem. No, no, I do not. I do not. I'm not doing this to say everybody should go by by the, you know, as many books as I do, but <laughs> this is to help you hopefully be able to make uh, informed decisions regarding your own purchases. That is, that is the whole point of these flip throughs. Um, <laughs> and, and freely admitting I have a problem. So <laughs> that's the first step, right? Like, you know, denial is the first, the first hurdle and I, I don't deny it. I freely admit it at this point. It's only when I get stressed, and definitely have been stressed, mostly just work wise lately. So anyway, with that being said, I have four today. This one's not like a new, new release, but it's close enough. I didn't even know it was out until um, this week. So let's go ahead and get started. So the original planned uh, new release purchase was this one. <laughs> which got here early. They originally had it for March 15th and it sent out this week. I've seen a couple other people already flip through this. This is A Million Kawaii Cuties by Lulu Mayo. It is her latest book in the A Million dot 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 series. So if you're confused, um, some people are showing a book called A Million Sweet Treats or something like that that has the same cover on it. So that is the UK release and this is the U.S. release, so they just have different titles. Um, as far as I know, I don't know if there's anything else different. I don't know why the titles are different, but um, if you are seeing that one and you're like, did she release two? No, no, it's the same book. It's just different titles as, as far as I'm aware. So just in case you see that. So if you are familiar with the Lulu Mayo books, you know that they are typically smaller books compared to a typical average size coloring book. They are a little bit smaller. They are double-sided, and I believe Lark Publishing still publishes these, at least for the U.S. version. So, um, yeah. So let's... Just got these, have not even looked at them yet. I am looking at all these first with all of you, because I've had no time to look at them otherwise. There is your illustrated by and copyright page. So there's usually, I think, like 61 colorable images, but then if you count the title page and like the copyright page and stuff, it comes out to like 63 or 64 or something, I think is the average. Um, you can look in the description. I'll have the number of pages in the description for sure. So here we go. Okay, this is adorable. The little closet with the sleeping bunnies, I'm assuming. And then this little box, I would go on, I would love to pack this way for any trip. Um, my cats would prefer, well, they prefer being in this suitcase. I don't know if they would prefer going with me. Um, is he like throwing up that plant? <laughs> plant like coming or is that just how he happens to be he's singing okay he's singing and the plant is behind them that just was a little strange there for a minute but yeah duck um fluffy socks i don't know how i feel about my shoes staring back at me or my toothpaste looking back at me that would be a little weird but i could totally go down with a duck or goose or whatever that is with a top hat um all the essentials for your uh dream vacation Then we have this cool, she does do double page spreads, and we have this one. 
So this is definitely, um, there's all kinds of different animals in here as you can see, which is very cool, but there is a lot of um, different objects that have faces on them, which I guess is what makes this very kawaii. Oh, what are these called? What are these called? Oh, I got it right up there. And I can't think of what they're called. Never mind. <sighs> just, just ignore me. Ignore me. I love that she includes some black backed backgrounds on these. Very cute. I love that picture with the koalas and sloths and mm, raccoons. I don't know. Still very cute. There is a, uh, there is food and candy in here quite a bit, I believe. I like the mummy cat down here. That is very cute. This looks like a bowl of ramen with dolphins and a surfing cat, maybe? A stubtail cat. I don't know what that's actually supposed to be. An otter, perhaps? Who knows? I could spend all day interpreting. I love that they're on the little origami ducks. That is very, very cute. Okay, if I'm going to sit here and comment on all the pages, we will be here all day. So I need to <laughs> speed it up a little. We all know I go slow, but this would be slow even for me. See, I I guess I would be okay with a birthday cake with, um, what are those? I guess those are raccoons. Um, with raccoons and mice playing instruments, I would just be a little concerned about the fur on the cake. That that would be kind of a no for me. Though cat hair in, in this house is considered a seasoning. So, <laughs> fair enough. I'm usually not big on... Well, I, I don't have a preference necessarily in coloring food. It's not... It's not something I actively enjoy coloring, but it's not something that I'm just like, meh, that's not really my thing either. It's just kind of there. So this will be an interesting, um, I do like the book I have with the, the cooking uh, cats that have the cats and the different types of food. Um, so I do enjoy that. And I actually really like these, like all of them are having a nice little soap in the soup pot which would really throw me off if I pulled the lid off that and saw that. I'd be like, it's all, y it's all yours. I, <laughs> I am no longer hungry. No longer hungry. So I feel like with the subject title of this one, this one um, has a little more of an abstract feel to it. If that is not your thing, then you might want to skip this one. But this one seems to have like a looser, not abstract, I guess that's not the term I'm looking for. It's got a looser feel to it in terms of the drawings. I don't know what the terminology is I'm looking for, but... And it's not all the pages, it's just some of them. Give me all plenty of time to get a look. Yeah, I am going real slow today. You gotta speed it up, Michelle. Come on. The little dinosaurs. They're so cute. Ooh, maybe she'll do a million dinosaurs. That would be a good one. A million ra a raccoons would be good. All kinds of different animals. I, I love that she does that. A million little monkeys would be cute. They really enjoy singing. 
it seems. That looks like a kid in a cat costume. Basically my husband in his in a cat onesie. <laughs> yes, he has a cat onesie. It was actually us two that were purchased as jokes. And what I learned very quickly is my husband's very cold natured and <laughs> do not purchase him onesies as a joke because he will wear them and he will go out to the mailbox in them. I'm sure the neighborhood has had a field day with that. Whoop, did I skip a page? Yes. So very cute. I I like this one a lot. I would say I still think the Magical Creatures one might still be my favorite so far, but this one definitely is cute, and I'm glad I purchased it, and this is definitely one I, you know, wanted for my collection for sure. So. Alright, next up. There we go. We have Cute and Hoppy by Alexandra Franzes. This is, uh, she self-publishes now uh, a number of books. I don't know what's going to go on in terms of the future Jade Summer, but I, her and Joshua Dunbar are both now self-publishing. And um, so this is her most recent release. It's an Easter-related book. I did pick up a few. I don't really have any Easter books. I think I showed you guys one last week. There's this one, and I've got one other, and that will probably be... I like the spring look of them. I just, I don't celebrate Easter much. Oh, Easter miniatures, that was the other one, so. But I love Alexandra Frenzies, Frenzies. I love her work, so I did want to pick this up. And I had a lot of fun coloring the demo page last week and um, cute and lovely, so. this. Also would apply for my Alphabet Color 2022 tag because of the cute in the title. That little pig in the tutu is adorable. I really enjoy the light grayscale she puts on her pictures. Oh, those little chicks are so cute. I think if you've got eggs in your chimney, you you might have a bit of a problem when if it's if you get a cold snap. I would not hide the eggs in the chimney. That's a recipe for disaster because if you forget those, <laughs> you're gonna get a really weird smell next time you use that uh, use that fireplace. Carrot that would also work, even though the whole book technically applies. Oh my word, y'all! This picture, I just can't. You've got a cat, but then you've got a cat with bunny ears. It's just so stinking cute. I really enjoyed using the Jane Davenport pastels in this, by the way. If you haven't seen the demo, um, I did that on Tuesday. Used it on uh, one, Cute and Lovely, um, which is actually uh, published under Jade Summer, but I'm pretty sure it's hers even though her name's not on it for some strange reason. Um, I did background in the pastels and then shaded with pastel over marker. Oh, this was so cute. And I really enjoyed that. I actually think I'm going to do at least one more like that this month. If I have time. <laughs> oh, if I have time. I've been so bummed. It's been so hard to color the last few weeks I've been so drained uh, just mentally due to work that I have not felt creative at all this has been more so far a month of coloring like color by numbers and just 
more for anxiety and stuff. Hang on just a second now. I'm babbling. Sorry, I have to do something real quick. Um, last couple weeks have been more just coloring for anxiety and stress than necessarily creative, which I've been bummed about. I love that's in the shape of a rabbit. Very cute. Trying to like multitask here and it's not, not doing, not going very well. That was one of the reasons I actually really enjoyed that other picture because I was able to be a little creative with it, but it wasn't a picture I had to spend a lot of time in. So, ooh, I like this one. This one actually has a background to that. Look at there. Very nice. I do like that. I like where the, you know, it's, again, a whole lot easier if you don't feel like messing with the backgrounds. And she also groups her landscape and portrait pictures together, which I greatly enjoy. It's so much easier when you're flipping through them like this. She looks actually pretty darn happy. Maybe she laid the egg. Okay, first off, if those are her eggs, holy Toledo, that poor bird. <laughs> I'm going to sit here and make a guess that these are not, in fact, her eggs. Because if they were, and she, and those eggs are the size of her. So I can't even, that poor bird. <laughs> I can't even imagine. Uh, so I'm going to just assume she is building the nest and somebody came along and left her some Easter eggs. And so she is thrilled at that. Um, I'm going to hope they did not snatch her eggs and replace them. She looks happy, so we're going to assume that's the case. We're also going to assume she did not, uh, actually, these are not her babies. <laughs> because, oh my word, top, that bird would just pop. Can you imagine just poof? All you see is just a little fluff of feathers in the air and Yeah. That's where my brain goes, y'all. That's where my brain goes. You're like, you took a sweet picture and you just had to tell a horrific story about it. And that is just how I how we roll around here, y'all. That's just how we roll. Just hear a tweet and then just, <laughs> just feathers. Oh, Lord. Anyway, very cute. This is pretty much how I look anytime I pull out paint for a picture. So I can relate. And then they also provide a bonus page from Country Chibis, which I is on its way. I did not get it when it first came out i thought i was going to restrain myself and then i saw um haley do a flip through of it and i couldn't resist so anyway all right so we're going to do the other we'll save the color by number for last so the sorry the other book um that is still i would still call it a new release because it's been within the last month um, is by Joshua Dunbar. It looks like he is self-publishing as well, and I am super stoked about that. This is the, I keep hitting the mic, sorry guys. This is the, uh, new Easy Coloring. This has 65 pages, which I adore. I'm so glad for that. Um, this looks like... This might have some images from his other books. Just kind of looking at the back there. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, I will go nosy around and I'll, put, I'll mention it in the description. We'll see. Maybe it explains it on the inside. So, very cool. He has a website right here, by the way. If you guys want to go check that out. Alright. This is his first self-published book. 
and also his biggest collection of illustrations. Landscapes, for example, are, for me at least, a first for the easy book format. Very cool. Okay, so this is likely all unique images. What I suspect is if some of them look, I suspect they probably were ones that didn't make it into his other books, and maybe he included them in here. He also includes a how to use this book, which is pretty cool. That is very, a very cool fact. I cannot pronounce that, but adding color on top of gray values is actually a classical painting technique called Grisale. <laughs> Meaning grade, painting would be done first, and thin layers of color would be applied or glazed over the top. So, oh, by the way, if you guys want to read this, you can pause and have a look. -y. So here we are. He also does some light grayscale shading on his books, which is very cool. So he has a gnomes book, but what I suspect is this is probably a picture he did that didn't make it in that one, so he put it in this one. So that is what I suspect is the case. I could be wrong though. I will make sure, but I'm pretty sure these will all be unique images now that I think about it. That is a weird look he has given me. Oh my gosh, pancakes. Y'all, I am... Carbs are my thing. It's typically not like chocolate, though. Or um, it's... If, if I really crave sweet stuff, it's like Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal or um, pancakes. Oh, gosh. Like, I can't make pancakes in this house because if I do, I will eat them. I will eat every one of them. And, um, oh, those cute little owls. And he's got some background. That's what he was talking about. That's really cool. Or he was talking about landscapes. But I like how some of these have backgrounds. So what I might do is take my Jane Davenport pastels sometime this weekend and do a page in his one in his new book with the pastels. It'll be the same type of paper, but I would be curious to see it in the two different styles. Cute little turtle. So I think this is a really good bargain. Let me look and see. Oh yeah, um, it is priced US at uh, $7.99, so 65 images for that price is a very good bargain. I don't know if that's what he'll do moving forward, or if that's just, you know, hey, it's my first book, let's celebrate kind of thing. Oh, that's very cool. Sword in the Stone. But I think that is a rather good deal for a book. And he gives a large variety. And these, I do not have his other easy coloring book, which was published under the Jade Summer name. I don't have that one. I do need to get it. Um, oh, it's so cute. He looks so happy with his flower. That is one straw mouse. I mean, I know flowers aren't heavy, but I mean, that flower is like bigger than him. That, I would not want to meet, that mouse would probably punch my lights out. He is, he needs more muscles. <laughs> Look jacked, man. But, um. There's a lot I would like to do. But I don't have his other easy, just regular easy coloring book, though I do need to get it. Um, but I believe it's the same way where it's a nice variety of subjects. I'm sure I've come across a picture that would qualify for my color along this month. I just... Cooking. That's the theme for that book. Or baking, I guess. But we could say cooking. Why not? Oh, 
very pretty. Um, blue jay, I think. I think that's what that is. Cookies. So yeah, I, I'm really stoked that both uh, Joshua Dunbar and Alexandra Franzis are uh, self-publishing on their own. And and I don't blame them for everything that happened. I, I'm sure there were a lot of reasons for that. <laughs> it's so cute. He is super excited about that ball. Oh, this is what he was talking about. That is very nice. I like that. Oh, cheeseburgers and cake, y'all. When I say carbs, like, I'm talking like cereal, pancakes, cake is probably the sweet thing I would really go for. And then you give me some cheeseburgers along with that, shoo we just, just leave me be because that is my stress eating comfort zone. And yes, there will be stress eating a couch. There will be stress eating this weekend. I was doing really well for a long time, for quite a few months there, and then these last few weeks, I've just been like, no, I just need some comfort food in my life. Trying not to beat myself up too much about it. Those are some huge, either that's a very small um, trek bed, or those are like some ridiculously big watermelons. Like, <laughs> like I would need a wheelbarrow to bring one of those watermelons home, which I, I don't see a problem with. This is very pretty. I, I personally don't see a problem with, but, <laughs> oh, nice little 80s. I know a lot of you younger folk are going to be like, what is this thing? <laughs> back in, kids, back in the day, we had these things called cassettes. <laughs> Looking very, very smug about that egg. Very pretty. Yeah, I, oh my gosh. Yeah, okay, so like this sweet stuff is really killing me in this book today. Normally, I would be fine, but like today, I'm just, when I get stressed and tired, that is, I'm seeing all these, and I'm like, I want it all, just gimme, 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 fine. A cart, that would work. Oh, pie. This was a bad day to flip through this one. <laughs> oh, it was a bad day indeed. Maybe this is like subconsciously why I don't color food that much because it will make me hungry. Oh, that's pretty. I really like his landscapes in this book. I may do that instead this weekend is try one of these landscapes. The palette I have at Jane Davenport doesn't, with the colors, unless I did a really wacky color scheme, they wouldn't really, oh, y'all, I can't. I just can't. It's, it's so cute. Whoop. He has other books coming. That's exciting. Animal Mandalas, Country Spring, and Easy Country. All right, artists, what are y'all doing to me here? Come on. <laughs> here I am going, I'm going to restrain myself in purchasing. And then you got to come out with all these fantabulous books. Ooh, so these are previews. This is Animal Mandalas. Very interesting look. Very different from some of the other Animal Mandala books out there. That is, that is very cool. So I believe this is Country Spring which looks gorgeous. And then I guess this is Easy Spring. I think is what he was getting at. 
And then oh, I got to do a better job of leaving Amazon reviews. That is definitely something I need to do. And he leaves some blanks at the end, which I like because if you're trying to test, I always like having extra pages. So I'm going so slow today, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, that's the thing. At the end of the day, you can speed it up if you want to. You can put me on mute. There's all kinds of things you can do if you would rather, if you're in a hurry and you don't need to hear me ranting and raving. All right. Last one is a color by number. A new release in the stained glass collection by Sacha and Sacha Diva. Yes, you haven't seen a lot of color by number books lately because I told myself, at least unless they're a new coloring book artist, I'm not going to buy any more color by number books till I finish one for each artist, right? So, like, I wasn't supposed to get another Sacha and Sacha Diva book till I finished one of his. Well, this one came out, and it's wildlife. And, of course, there was a fox, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, you could have... This would have been perfect a month ago. It's fine. Hey, we'll have F as a, a letter in May because I'm doing both D and E in April just to make it a little easier because I know, um, well, E probably wouldn't be all that hard to find, but it, a little more difficult than some of the other letters, so we're going to combine them. Maybe. I'm thinking about that. So either May or June, so it'll work out there. All right. Amazon printed standard color palette I believe for the stained glass collection and such and such diva uh, coloring books and I do I adore the stained glass series I love the colors on this one this this I love the matte cover first off just touching it it's very soothing <laughs> texture wise but the colors um, on the cover like I don't know what the actual colors are on the that page but I would like to color it like it is on the cover I usually like bold bright colors but that one in particular those greens and stuff is very very nice very soothing hmm so this is interesting so some of these are backed in a gray and some of these are backed in like the black and I don't really know why is that new does anybody know why that's the case so seven's a dark green where's ten? Oh, I bet I know what that is so I suspect the ones in black aren't in this picture and the ones in the gray are so he's just showing you and highlight which colors are in here normally i think a lot of times he'll use as many most of the colors but it looks like in this one he is not using all the colors in the palette which is very cool i think that's what it is yeah i guess for like the cheetah a purple now you could color any color you want I think he puts out a non-color by number version of these as well. So you can color them any color you wish. Though you could still do that with the numbers in there too. Well, I like this one. It's very pretty. So I think that's what it is. Okay. Eh, little baby kangaroo peeking out there. What? What? Oh, it's a rhinoceros. Okay. <laughs> that one took me a minute. But yes, I, I really love that there is wildlife in this one. That's why I couldn't hold off. In fact, this, other than cute cats, I actually need to continue in that one but it's not one of his stained glass books this will probably be the stained glass book that I work through consistently to try to finish before I get other books of his because I think other than one other stained glass one the others I have are seasonal so though I really could color Halloween probably any time of the year I love the big cats in here makes me happy 
Love it, love it, love it. I love the frames on these. I just think, uh, I think his stained glass books are probably my favorite series overall. Though I do love his cute cats book as well that I have. I believe that's one of my books to finish this year, so I kind of need to get on that one. This is a good month for that one, too. A snake. It's like a snake and a spider web, almost. That back pattern. That's pretty cool. The heck is that thing? <laughs> uh, prairie dog, a mongoose, um, <laughs> got heck and claws on it, whatever it is. Now, some of these are obvious, like in terms of the animals, and then some of them, maybe this is a red panda, maybe. Yeah, I see red, brown, and oranges in here, so I think that's a red panda. He is just chilling, living his best life there in a way too cold temperatures, in my opinion. I do like that there are animals in here you don't necessarily see in a lot of other animal books. I guess this is an alligator or a crocodile. <laughs> I, I don't really know what the difference is. I know there's a difference. But I guess if you wanted to call it a croc, I would probably call it a crocodile in color for this month. So thank you, Paige, with his links to his various social medias, groups, books on Amazon. There's his quote. And here is a nice long list of his collections. He does have um, like his mosaic art books, paper cut art, which I don't have any of those. I would like to get some of those. The Mystery Circle's Easter color by number is a new type. I like that he always tries new things too and kind of thinks outside the box. So this gives you a really nice list of his books. He does also give you color chart sheets which would which would are always handy but I just my brain I never think of it. I never think to use them. Anyway <laughs> so there we go. Um, four new books for you to grumble at me about. <laughs> no, this, this is awesome. I, like I said, I, I think it's just the time of year, like, you know, with it, you know, starting to, well, at least in this hemisphere, it's starting to warm up and, and everybody's kind of got like spring and stuff on the brain and there's just all kinds of really cool books coming out this time of year. Um, so, um, I, I'm glad I can share these with you. I'm going to try to catch up on my flip throughs. <laughs> so, work's been crazy. I, I'm going to try to do a color and chat Sunday, which is just finishing up a whip picture I had in the Endless Summer George C. Fexus book. I'm going to try to do a demo Tuesday. I am going to try the Pebbles Chalk Pastels as well to compare those to the Jane Davenport. They were recommended and um, they're easier to find and they seem like they have more colors. So I would like to demo those on Tuesday, but it depends on if I get them in time or not. Um, and then next Friday, I will do another flip through Friday. If the color and chat or Tuesday's demo don't happen, I will probably make those flip through days um, because I do have more books coming in uh, to do flip throughs of. So, uh, and I still need to do the Amazon books I got during last month, three for the price of two sales. So uh, regardless, you'll see some sort of video from me on the regular schedule of this next week. It just may be a little different type of video, just depending on when stuff comes in and what I have time for. And hopefully by next weekend, things will ease up a little, I hope. So anyway, I hope you guys have a good start to the weekend and I will talk to you soon.
Bye for now.